graph quadratic function and we'll do this in the graph and table application now first off I'm going to tap into the downstairs graph window and because I know I'm graphing a quadratic under zoom and quick there is a quadratic a quick quadratic function so let's use that one and the graph is rescaled notice that we've lost the faint blue grid lines in the background but I think we can live without those now we'll tap back up into the top window and I'm going to edit clear all just to remove the function that's there and start again. So here we go with the keyboard type in x to the power of 2 plus 3x subtract 4 and then tap execute to tick the box here and uh, set the function. Now to draw the graph all we have to do is tap the icon the very left hand one on the top row here and our parabola is drawn. To locate key features of this parabola we're going to use the analysis menu so to get the horizontal uh, intercepts or the roots under G solve we have root. Uh, the first one is always the left hand most one that uh, is shown. To move over to the second one we move to the cursor key and tap the go right button and it's jumped over to here. To return to the previous one we can tap the left cursor key and it pops back again. To find the y-intercept of this function we can do the same thing. Analysis G solve y-intercept and there's the y-intercept and finally to find the coordinates of the vertice uh, at the bottom we've got analysis G solve and it would be a min on it and there we can see the coordinates negative 1.5 6.25 a little hard to see isn't it so what we can do is tap resize and there you can see it's separated out all the writing from each other uh, here it is the coordinates or at the bottom of the screen negative 1.5 negative 6.25